Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us pray the Regina Chell. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Queen of heavens, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did merit to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord has truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Holy Rosary. Please all kneel. We offer this Holy Rosary for the continued recovery of our country and the world from the crisis brought by the COVID-19 pandemic, for those who lost their jobs, and for those who struggle in their livelihood, for good governance in our country and in the world, for the peace in the world where war and violence exist, for the sick that God may give them strength and full recovery, and for the eternal repose of our dearly departed that may God console their grieving families. I believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven, heaven and earth, of and of all, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, 
True God from true God, begotten not made, of substantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with his scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins save us from, from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of Jesus to heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O, o my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary as Queen of heaven and earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my, my Jesus, Jesus, forgive, forgive us, us our sins. sins. Save, Save us from the fires of hell, and, and lead all souls to heaven especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, Show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise to the same Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Saint Ezekiel Moreno, pray for us. Saint Martin de Porres, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Let us all pray the Nubina to the Divine Mercy. You expired, Jesus. But the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world, and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, we trust in you, O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. We trust in you, O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. We trust in you, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Almighty creator, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. O greatly merciful God, infinite goodness, today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God. And it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out, Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exiles. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, we are acquainted with our misery through and through, and know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you, anticipate, we implore you, anticipate us, with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and at death's hour. Let the omnipotence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation's enemies that we may with confidence as your children await your son's final coming 
that they known you, to you alone. And we expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus in spite of all our wretchedness. Our For Jesus is our hope through his merciful heart as through an open gate we Amen. pass through to heaven. Amen. Amen. Day 6. Today, bring me the meek and humble souls, and the souls of little children, and immerse them in my mercy. These souls most closely resemble my heart. They strengthen me during my bitter agony. I saw them in earthly angels who, who will keep vigil at my altars. I pour out upon them whole torrents of grace. Only the humble soul is capable of receiving my grace. I favor humble souls with my confidence. Most merciful Jesus, you yourself have said, learn from me, and for I am meek and humble of heart. Receive into the abode of your most compassionate heart all meek and humble souls and the souls of little children. These souls send all heaven into ecstasy, and they are the Heavenly Father's favorites. They are a sweet-smelling bouquet before the throne of God. God himself takes delight in their fragrance. Their, these souls have a permanent abode in your most compassionate heart, O Jesus, and they unceasingly sing out a hymn of love and mercy. Together, Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon meek souls, upon humble souls, and upon little children who are enfolded in the abode which is the most compassionate heart of Jesus. These souls bear the closest resemblance to your Son. Their fragrance rises from the earth and reaches your very throne, Father of mercy and of all goodness. I beg you by the love you bear these souls and by the delight you take in them. Bless the whole world that all souls together may sing out the praises of your mercy for endless ages. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Jesus, King of Mercy, we trust in you. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair, nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please all stand and let us pray the novena to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Fall. 
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Together, merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten this sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Oh 
Grace Neil, Novena Prayer, Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross Jesus gave you to us for our mother, you are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. Please mention your petitions. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of his will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that He who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share His resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, Teach justice to their oppressors and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in You, we place ourselves under the mantle of Your maternal protection and confidently hope for Your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the home. Mother of perpetual help, we choose you as queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish their children, whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Virgin, conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us. That we may rejoice with you at Christ's victory over sin and death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our divine Lord as you were. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of 
of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Father, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christians by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our hearts those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interest at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community in the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase in priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence in God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, Mother, pray for us that our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our own intentions. Together, Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, pray, pray for, for us. us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Act of Consecration Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of the Church, you are also our mother, ever ready to help us with hearts full of love for you we consecrate ourselves to your immaculate heart so that we may be your devoted children obtain for us through sorrow for sins and fidelity to the promises of our baptism we consecrate our minds and hearts to you that we may always do the will of our heavenly father we consecrate our lives to you that we may love God better and live not for ourselves, but for Christ, your Son, and that we may see him and serve him in others. By this humble act of consecration, dear Mother of Perpetual Help, we pledge to model our lives on you, the perfect Christian, so that consecrated to you in life and in death, we may belong to your divine Son for all eternity. Amen. Please stand. the truth. 
choice that fade and flee but mother of Christ mother of Christ this do I long to see the and told which thy arms enfold the treasure upon thy knee Mother of Christ Mother of Christ I toss on a stormy sea. Oh, lift your child as a beacon light to the port where I fain would be. And Father. Set on the shore and show him at last to me. Please kneel. Thanksgiving prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life, he has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love, to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through the novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. We ask Our Lady's intercession for the sick members of our family. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially our sick loved ones. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort, restore them to health in body and soul, so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. Please all stand. Are you among women 
And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for the thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors, for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, for the healing of our online and in-person parishioners and their caregivers, for those who are unable to go to church physically for various reasons and for all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration. Today is Wednesday in the octave of Easter. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Jason Laguerta. Please all stand. Sing to the mountain, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We call to mind our sins. We beg the Lord to grant us pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Ko 
kordero ng Ama. Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan na sanlibutan. Tanggapin mo ang aming kahilingan. Ikaw na naluluklok sa kanan ng Ama. Maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw lamang ang banal, Panginoong Yesu Kristo, kasama ng Espiritu, sa lolhati ng Ama. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leapt up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Please all stand.
together. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus. And they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem? who does not know of the things that have taken place there in these days. And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, The things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. They came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are, how slow of heart to believe all that the prophet spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then, beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on farther, but they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. But he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way and, sp and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. He is risen. Hallelujah. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat mga kapatid. Pakibati din ng good morning ang ating mga katabi. It's a beautiful Wednesday morning to our online parishioners. Thank you also for praying with us today. This is what I'm talking about, Easter Mysteries. Kaya po pinagninilaya natin ang misteryo ng pagkabuhay Kasi hindi ho ito kayang ipaliwanag sa isang araw. 
Kahit na limampung araw, hindi mo ito maipapaliwanag ng maayos o ng talagang malaliman. Luke 24, the two disciples on the road to Emmaus, it is just so rich that you can't explain it in five, ten minutes. So I would like to invite all of you, if you really want to plunge, to dig deeper into the mystery of Easter, the resurrection of Jesus, go to Luke 24, 13, 35, Meditate on it the whole day, the whole week, and you can't even get to the bottom of it. Not ever. That's why we call our 50 days of Easter as Easter Mysteries. Napakayaman, napakalawak, napakahiwaga na mga nangyari. Again, Jesus was not recognized by the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Kahapon, hindi siya nakilala ni Maria. Akala ni Maria Magdalena siya isang ardinero. Ngayon, akala naman ng dalawang naglalakad na alagad, siya ay isa lamang naglalakbay, a stranger to them. So there is this mysterious effect of Jesus on others. He was not known and recognized easily after He resurrected after he rose from the dead. So we meditate on this. As I have said, kulang po ito. Hindi po natin ito makikita ng gusto o ma maunawaan. Pero let's try. The fourth mystery. We entered into the fourth mystery of Easter. We would focus on the two disciples. The two disciples. One is named, or rather, three are named, and one is not. Why do I say Three. Because in the first reading from the book of Acts, in chapter 3, you also have the two disciples, Peter and John, preaching in the temple of Jerusalem. And in the gospel in Luke 24, we have the disciple who is named Cleopas. The other disciple, not named. Mahilig ho ang Biblia sa suspense. Pinagnilayan natin nung isang araw yung the other Mary. Mary Magdalene, kilala. But the other Mary ay tinago ang pangalan o tinago ang kanyang kasinuhan. Ngayon, may tinago na naman. <laughs> tinago na naman yung other disciple. Si Cleopas ay pinangalanan. Oop, Cleopas. That rings a bell. Because if you look at John chapter 9, 25, there were three women at the foot of the cross, Mary Magdalene, Mary mother of Jesus, and there was this other Mary the wife of Cleopas, the sister of Mary. So, I would like to tickle your imagination. Could it be that this Cleopas that is walking to Emmaus is the husband of that other Mary? Intriguing, right? Ang daming pwedeng tingnan sa kwento ng muling pagkabuhay. Could it be that this Cleopas, together with an unnamed disciple, be the husband of the other Mary? Pwede. Hindi lang natin siguro sigurado, pero pwede. At may mga biblical scholars po na nagsasabi na, kaya hindi pinangalanan yung kasamang alagad ni Cleopas. Kasi pwede ang kasama niya, asawa niya. Pwedeng mag-asawa ang naglalakad papunta sa Emmaus. It could be that Cleopas was so disheartened and Mary, the other Mary, was there to console him. Sinamahan ng kanyang asawa sa paglalakbay. Sinamahan ng asawa niya sa kalungkutan. It could be. But let's, let, let's look at the two disciples. In the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 3, Peter and John, they're a totally different person altogether after Pentecost. Remember, before the death of Jesus, when he was arrested, all these disciples went in hiding, went into hiding, nagtago. Pero ito, si Peter and John, after Pentecost, Andiyan na ulit sa templo, ginagawa yung dating ginawa ni Jesus. Remember, in the temple area, pinagaling ni Jesus ng sang bulag at yun ang naging dahilan bakit siya hinuli at pinahirapan. Peter and John are doing the same. Pinagaling ang isang may sakit, hindi makalakad. Sabi ni Peter sa kanya, 
silver and gold I have none but in the name of Jesus the Nazarene I give to you what I have Jesus of Nazareth rise and walk and he did magkaiba yung dalawang alagad sa unang pagbasa at sa ebanghelyo yung dalawang alagad sa unang pagbasa matapang yung dalawang alagad sa ebanghelyo nagdaramdam nalulungkot tumatakas what happened between them the two disciples who were who were downcast and the two disciples who were so empowered and energized what happened to them the holy spirit before the holy spirit came and before they fully understood the truth about jesus christ they had no courage but when the spirit came to them they were given light inspiration and strength and this is what happens to someone who has been anointed by the spirit and this is what we ask for and that's this is what we are preparing for in the next 50 days we will be preparing for what pentecost we would like to understand first the resurrection so that when the holy spirit come and he reveals to us the full truth about jesus we will become empowered disciples ready to proclaim and ready to share with boldness our faith to others itong dalawang alagad papunta ng emmaus hindi pa sila handa it was just evening after the resurrection nung maggabi na nung linggong yon malungkot pa rin sila at hindi pa nila naiintindihan. At siguro, ang duda ko, the other disciple that is not named, who could be the wife of Cleopas, was trying to convince her husband, husband, nakita na namin ni Maria Magdalena, ba't ayaw pa bang maniwala? Ang sabi ni husband, hindi ako maniniwala. Alika, magano tayo, lumayas na tayo rito, wala na tayong magagawa dito. Maybe the other disciple was not named precisely because she was supposed to accompany Cleopas in his struggle with his faith. Brothers and sisters, and let me end with this. We need companions in the journey. Peter, he needed John to have the strength. Cleopas needed someone beside him so that he would not lose hope. We need companions in the journey. Kaya po, I was so struck by one of our young people in the seven last words. Balikan niyo po yun. I was so struck by what, by the term she used. I thirst for companion. Yung bata na yun sa, I thirst for companion. Ang lalim nun, kapatid. I thirst for compa- companion. Hindi, hindi yung sinabi na, I thirst for friendship or I thirst for family. No. She said, I thirst for a companion. Companya. Companya is with bread. Companya, to accompany is to be with each other in breaking bread. And that's what basically what the Eucharist is. And that's what Jesus did to the two disciples when he was about to go. Sabi nung dalawa, stay with me, stay with us. And then he broke bread with them. That's what you mean by company. Companies, you break bread with. A companion is someone you break bread with. A companion is someone who is ready to stay with you through thick and thin, through struggles and victories. If I am to be asked, I'm not a Bible scholar, but if I am to be asked, the two people on the road to Emmaus were not both men. They were a couple, husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Cleopas. And they were walking to break bread with Jesus. And after breaking bread with Jesus, they returned to Jerusalem, empowered, strengthened because of their experience of God. Friends, we need company. We need to have company. I mentioned this before, may isang teacher na, o may isang sudyante na nagtanong sa kanyang teacher, teacher, which is more important? The destiny or the journey? Ang paglalakbay ba o yung pupuntahan? And the teacher said, no, no. It's not the destination. It's not even the journey. It is the company. In the journey in life, the company is most important. Hindi yung pupuntahan, hindi yung paglalakad. 
ang kasama sa paglalakbay. And this is what the fourth mystery is about. The two disciples accompanying each other and Jesus walking with them. Praised be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Tinapay na nagula sa butil ng trigo pagkain nagbibigay ng buhay mo at anak na nagula sa isang pagkay ng ubas inuming nagbibigay na ka Pray, dear friends, and my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time of Babel, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death. By rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we kneel before the Lord, we open our hearts, our eyes to Jesus. The same Jesus that walked with, with the two disciples on the road to Emmaus. The same Jesus who broke bread with them is the same Jesus before us. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Let us also lift up to the Lord our prayers and petitions for our family. We pray for companionship. We pray for the lonely. We pray for those who are sad. As we also lift up to the Lord our intentions for the Mass today. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All our loved ones who have died in your mercy, welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the apostles and the saints, Saint Maria Goretti, Saint Padre Pio, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> children of the loving father he accompanies us he breaks bread with us we pray together Beaver. deliver us lord we pray from every evil grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ has said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not lord in our sins but on the faith of your church grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the gift of easter the sign of peace peace be with you peace to you Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus before us. He breaks bread with us. He explains the scriptures to us. He accompanies us in our way. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. San Padre Pio after Holy Communion. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life and without you I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close. And life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way. And for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, 
in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers. I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence. Oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it's you alone I look for. Your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With the firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. We pray for the family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with the soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In a moment of silence, we pray for the intentions of our family. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa to our visitors and pilgrims. Thank you for being with us. To our online parishioners as well, maraming salamat din po sa pagdarasal kasama namin. Magkakasama. Yun po ang importante. Our fourth Easter mystery, the two disciples, Peter and John, and the uh, husband and wife, Cleopas, Mr. and Mrs. Cleopas, accompanying each other on the way through thick and thin, through sadness and joys. We are each other's companions. And in Latin, as I've said, cum panis, with and bread. So companionship is to break bread. And so to be a companion with each other, kailangan mag-breakfast tayo. O kailangan mag-dinner tayo. That's what companionship is about. To break bread with. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. A te clamamos, exules fili heve, a te suspiramos, Gementes et fletes In hac lacrimarum vale Ea ergo Advocata nostra Milos tuos 
misericordes oculos a nos converte et Jesu benedicto fructo ventris tui nobis oso que exiliu ostende Pronobis Sancta Dei Genitrix, o digni efeci amor promissionibus Christi.